This is the aftermath of a genuine tragedy. Police say the truck arrived to empty the bin before dawn this morning. Only one of the three boys asleep inside was able to jump clear as it was tipped. One of the boys has survived uh, and been relatively unhurt. However, the other boy has suffered um, fatal injuries as a result of that tip. The truck driver wasn't aware the boys were there. He was treated for shock. Friends of the 13-year-old who died were distraught. He was a very bright kid, happy, joyful. <laughs> Always had a smile on his face everywhere he went. Some details of the incident remain a mystery, with the two younger boys, aged 11 and 12, unable to help. Clearly they're traumatised by what's occurred and it's going to take some time to get a, a more detailed story from them. Police say they didn't know children in the town were sleeping rough, let alone in industrial bins. The boys were regular visitors to a support centre, which deals primarily with finding safe accommodation for at-risk youth. Every staff member at the moment completely shaken. Uh, we were close to this young person. Um, no, I, cannot, I can't. <laughs> I think it's fair to say that the boys had somewhere to stay. If they, they weren't, I don't think it would be fair to classify them as homeless. They had uh, beds they could sleep in. Friends of the boys say they were always together. They're like best friends. They're always hanging out everywhere. Mostly our young people just need love. They need people to say hello to them when they walk past. They need a smile and we need to appreciate all young people and understand that sometimes their behaviours are only what's at the tip of the iceberg. Police say just why the boys ended up sleeping in the industrial bin will form a major part of their report for the coroner. Evelyn Leckie, ABC News, Port Lincoln.